Hey, what's up guys? Middle School here. Welcome to Minecraft Dungeons, Episode 1. Uh, I wanted to change it up, do something different for once in my life. Uh, we're gonna watch the intro video, because I kind of skipped over it. I got a character made. Uh, let's go back. Yeah. Middle School, level 1. Uh, I'm gonna fix that, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's watch this video. It was a time of great adventure and danger. Shunned by his kin, an illager wanders the land, seeking a new home. But all he found was hatred. Driven by rage against those who wronged him, he wandered blind to whatever end. Until at long last, the Illager found something that would change him forever. The Orb of Dominance. Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the Arch Illager made all bow before him. And if they did not bow, they would fall. The Illagers raided the land. Who would have the valor? The purity of heart to stand against the Arch Illager's reign of terror. Well, not that one. But maybe you. Oh, yeah. So yeah, um, we're going to be playing some Minecraft Dungeons. I have played this before on Switch. I could enable a cloud setting maybe, but I'm not going to do that here. Just because, you know, privacy and the like. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. Let's play this game. Traveling to Squid Coast. And an achievement. Sweet. The village is burning. No doubt this is the work of the evil Arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. All right. I'm kind of excited to play this with the mouse and keyboard, too. I have a controller plugged in. I don't know if I'm going to use that. Oh, that's not how you do it. Is it arrow keys? No. I remember that round of it. Oh, it's point and click? I don't know if I like that. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, you hold it. Oh, how do you, um... Okay, it's kind of weird. Um, I hate it. It's... It is totally point and click. Nope, nope, we're going controller. So I can walk. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there's that. Uh, left button would do a potion. Let's see. Attack. It's different for me because I'm using a 8-bit dough controller, which is um which is a uh, set up like a suit like a Nintendo on the buttons. So, it might be a little weird. I don't know. The controls. Yeah, see? It says Xbox. Oh, nope. 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 Uh, default would be... So, my... <laughs> when it says A, I have to press B. My X, Y are flipped, and my A, B are flipped, basically. But I'm kind of used to it, so... We'll be okay. Let's go! Can I cancel on this? No? I can't roll cancel. Uh, that's okay. It's okay. 
So yeah, um, if you guys are unfamiliar with this game, it's uh, it's like a dungeon crawler in the Minecraft universe. It's got some new enemies, it's got all sorts of stuff. Uh, everything has cooldowns. There are ranged weapons, there's all sorts of cool weapons. The enemies are way different. Now, how do I... There it is. Okay. just want to be sure that I can look at the map. There we go. Pick that up. How do I shoot? Oh, right trigger. Okay. Okay. It's pretty intuitive. Um, you don't have to aim or... I mean, you can do this to get a charge shot, but... You just aim in the direction they usually shoot where they're supposed to. Lots of nooks and crannies and secrets and uh, crazy stuff. I've got all the DLC because you can't play this without Ultimate. Okay, um, yeah, let's go. Oh, it says map down at the bottom. I'm a dummy. It's not too tricky. Keep pressing left. It's going to be a problem later. It's like I want it to be a different button. <laughs> okay. go. Supplies. This usually has food and arrows. Two things you need. Food usually gives you some sort of a uh, buff, so I got regen for 30 seconds off that one. Um, yeah, you get all sorts of cool like gadget type items and cool stuff like that. I'm just trying to get all the nooks and crannies, make sure there's no secret apples or anything. So I wasted the regen, but that's all right. Uh, I might be open to multiplayer on this series. It's a lot more fun with people. Uh, but I don't know. We'll pick and choose. I kind of want to get through the story on my own just so there aren't, uh, unnecessary interruptions and stuff. I can, I can control what I say and don't say at points in the game. <laughs> so, yeah, multiplayer might be a thing. Like, it's been a while since I've had multiplayer on the channel, so... Oh, why does it show that? Ah, there we go. See? Secrets. See what else we got. Okay, well, there's that. We can sneak through here. Might be something up here. No? Just an alternate uh, route through, maybe? I don't know. I could probably roll over it. No? Okay. Worth a shot. Might be something hidden back there in the future, I don't know. You can revisit levels. It's a uh, very Diablo-esque. But yeah, I love this game. Kind of got inspired to play it by a, a A1 player hero. He was he's been playing it for the first time, so uh, I was like, "Man, I should get that for PC and play that on the channel." <laughs> That's the, that's the Arch Illager, in case you're wondering. I mean, if you couldn't tell by the, from the intro. There we go. A level up. Uh, let's check that out. So, you get enchantment points, right? You can choose from randomized enchantments for every item. Select one now. So, uh, let's see. I can pick... My sword, I can pick this bow, I can do all sorts of stuff like that. So I am going to probably pick, the sword will give me more emeralds, the bow will give me, oh oops, um, it's X button, okay. So I can do poison cloud on the bow, or I can do burst bow string, choose no nearby mobs when you roll. Uh, costing one arrow per roll, I'm not really a fan of that. See, this one will be Pain Cycle, max stacks, so 
it stacks damage. Oh, it drains your life. Um, channel to my attack. No, I'm good. Let's do this. Enemies you defeat have a higher chance of dropping emeralds. Simple. Uh, we're going to do that because I am a lowly level 2 muley. But yeah, I hope this looks pretty. I'm playing it on uh, the highest settings I can muster. So is there a little secret down here? Secrety secret? No? Took a little fall damage. Nothing to worry about, but... You do get hurt. <laughs> Try to charge my shots usually, um, because it does. You, you do more damage for one arrow, and that becomes a thing later on. So fireworks arrow. This is cool because you can equip uh, these down here and use them. Uh, they don't run out. It's like a buff kind of. So puts fireworks puts a fireworks arrow into your quiver. The arrow explodes on hit. 40 range damage, 30 second cooldown, the explosive power of the TNT combined with the high velocity movement of an arrow. What could possibly go wrong? So, now I hit. See, now I got one equipped. And now I can shoot. Um, and it'll shoot a firework. We'll definitely use it. Watch. Ready? Boom. And see the cooldown in the bottom of the screen where it says the X button? That's, uh... That's that. Do a roll. Cross the gaps. Roll back. If you were to just walk, you'd fall. Little tricks like that come in handy. Especially later in, like, uh, the nether and stuff like that. There's a nether, there's an end, there's all sorts of crazy stuff. I'm gonna equip a fireworks arrow. I'm not even looking at the map anymore. Jeez, Muley. Way to do in episode one. Good job. You're doing great. I don't know if... Okay, it doesn't hurt me, I don't think. The deep water probably would. Can't get up there. Okay. No nooks and crannies, no secrets, no chests. Come on now, this feels like chest territory. There's a sheep. Can't shoot the sheep. I think uh, I'm getting close to the end of the level. Believe it or not. Yep, this is the end of the level. So I'm gonna search around, look for stuff. I think there's chests out over here. Maybe it's once, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to spoil it, Never mind. Well, let's just jump off the world. That's how you do that. Little totem of undying comes. Pretty sweet. How about we just end it? Rather than, uh, play around in, uh, this place. Set up a camp outside of town. You go right here and you push that. You were too late to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. And there we go. That's the first level. So now we go to camp. There's me. Get a little prize. At the end of it. Let's see what we got. A fishing rod. Might switch to that. Uh, raid captains, be careful. Hero raid captains have been spotted in the area and can show up in any mission you have already completed. The raid captains have a bounty on their heads. Take them out to receive additional rewards. So yeah, here's the adventure hub. Uh, we're in Fauna Fair. Let's see, where was I in? It's a luminous night. I got to level 20. I bought in. I bought the thing. Um, I'll probably buy an adventure pass for that one too just because but yeah we'll we'll get there. 
This is when I bought the game. <laughs> I only got like three cool things. I got a lot of cool stuff from uh, Luminous Night. I had a good time playing that. Playing that season. But yeah, uh, weekly challenges are a thing. Let's see, what else do we got? Mission select. Oh, okay, I can open the map and I can select a new. Okay, good. It didn't. I, I didn't want it to save my do my cloud thing, you know. Uh, as cool as that sounds, I'm pretty far in the game and playing with an upgrade character like that would be kind of, you know. Cool, we got this. Uh, I'm not sure what I should do with it. Should I equip it? Oh yeah, we should. Oh, there's all my stuff. I guess I can look cool, right? I mean, I like the moo bloom. I got emotes. Let's see. We'll put my level up flare, healing flare, respawn flare. What else? Got the moo bloom equipped. Should I have a cape? Uh, I kind of like this one. That looks good. Yeah, I dig it. Cosmetics are okay, right? Now, how do I equip? Oh, <laughs> you know what? This is the chest. There we go! Mealy, you're figuring it out. Good job, buddy. Um, hmm. Anywhere. That's good. So, yeah, that's that. Um,. Now I got my Moo Bloom with me. Here's a training dummy. Let's see how much damage you can do. Right? My arrows do that much. Uh, I've also got this. To pull enemies towards me. I can do this. For 100 damage. Let's see. There's this house. Pigs. See. It's probably already activated, but there's a chest in here usually. Yay, nay. Okay. Figures. <laughs> it's only because I'm starting over. Which is fine. I'm cool with that. Uh, so, yeah, you got mission select. You got this guy. Later on, there's a gift villager that you can use to, like, give... Uh, is there a wolf here? I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get up here, but I but I am. <laughs> hey. Can I be your friend? No? Fine. Yeah, there's summons, there's all sorts of cool stuff in this game. Uh this is the tower. Tower is like your weekly challenges that you can do. You can climb the tower. It gives you like an avatar character and uh, you enter and you level up. That's a lot of fun. We, we're definitely going to do some tower runs. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? You think this series would be pretty cool? Should I keep it going? I'm going to do the story and then we'll see what, uh, what you, the subscribers, think. But yeah, uh... I don't know. Should I go on again? I kind of feel like if I go one more mission, it's going to turn into a muley, super long... I don't know. I got the Squid Coast. We can go to the tower. How about we do it next time, okay? Let's do it next time. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave me a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and tell your friends. And, uh... Yeah, give me your comments, and if you friend me on uh, Xbox or whatever they call it nowadays, um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>